Good afternoon, everyone. First at four, breaking news on a wildfire burning out of control right now in northern Arizona. Here are the fast facts. The museum fire is burning near Flagstaff. So far, the flames have destroyed more than a thousand acres. Evacuations have been ordered for a back burn at Schultz Pass and Eldon Lookout Road. And that fire started on Sunday morning. The Red Cross has set up a shelter at Sinagua Middle School. Recreational areas have definitely been impacted and evacuated. And a pre-evacuation order is now in place for several communities in the area. Absolutely no drones are being allowed to fly over that area as well. Now this evacuation is to help burnout operations and protect neighborhoods. The museum fire definitely has a lot of people on edge tonight and the weather always is a big factor on these things. As with any firefight, we have team coverage on this. Let's start with Team 12's Michael Doudna. He's been covering the museum fire since it started yesterday. And Michael, there's some really high concern at this point, isn't there? Yeah, there is. In fact, evacuations have just started behind me. You can see the first set of residential evacuations as this road is actually closed. The only people allowed to come in or out are those who are about to leave. And another common sight that we're seeing is these helicopters basically taking these gigantic buckets of water as they head towards the fire. Now this area is being closed for black backburn as they attempt to try to do away with a lot of the fuel that we've been seeing here. Uh, to try to maybe contain and control the fire as much as possible. Also, since we've been here, we've started to see little pieces of ash start to fall from the sky. So definitely not great conditions as they are trying to gain control over this fire. Now today, during the same time we've got these evacuation orders, there's also some that are now in that standby mode, meaning they have to be ready to potentially leave and be the next ones in line to leave and have a go bag ready to go. Now we talked to some people in those communities who say they have evacuated in the in the past and say that when it comes to evacuations, you have to make the choices about what to keep and what to leave behind. Harry, you get a pit in your stomach because you're not you're not sure what's going to happen. They tell you to get out, but you don't know what's going to happen when you come back. I can't even tell you how it feels. Um, a thousand things go through your head. It just makes you feel helpless because there's nothing you can do. It's like so powerful. Now these evacuation orders came in about 40 minutes ago, so we're still working on getting more information as we learn exactly more conditions on the fire and exactly what's next. We'll be sure to bring them to you. We'll have more information coming up at five and six. For now, we're live in Flagstaff. Michael Dalbna, 12 News. Michael, thank you.